Hey y'all, Miss Novello here, and today we're going to color our anime. So I have a pile of warm colors with me, a sharpener, and an eraser. And I'm using um, black and white in addition to my warm colors. So the very first thing I want to do is I want to use my black color pencil to outline everything that needs to be outlined. So go over your pencil with a black color pencil, um, fill in your uh, pencil shaded sections, go back over those and fill those in with black. I'm not going to do this for the entire uh, video because it would take too much time. So just want to point out that the first thing we want to do is do our black outline. The next thing you're going to want to do is color your hair. There's a specific stroke technique for hair um, and it's a back and forth stroke technique and it's that way because you want the hair to look like little grains of hair. And so what you'll want to do is you'll want to get a, a color and choose a light hue and a dark hue, hue of that color. So I have orange and I'm going to simply do a back and forth motion. Um, add a layer of that and then I'm going to go over it layering it with a back and forth motion of the darker hue of that color. If I wanted to, I could get an even darker color um, of that shade to add just some interest. If I wanted to do some interesting tips or color gradient effect, I could do that as well. And then the white is nice once you layer your colors to go over all of your layered colors and do that back and forth motion again. Kind of blend those colors in to make it look realistic and really cool. It also adds um, some highlighted grainy lines which look really natural. So that's how you want to do your hair with a back and forth motion. All right, for things like skin or clothing, you want to use a completely different stroke. You're going to want to use a circular motion still blending light and dark colors. So for the skin here, I have a light tan and a darker brown. Well, they're both brown, one's lighter, one's darker. And so what I'm gonna do with my circular motion, small, small circles and pressing ever so lightly. And I'm gonna fill in a section with the lighter shade. Keeping in mind that I still need to add things like shading. Shading is going to occur on the side of the face um, and underneath the hair. So I'm taking my darker brown and I'm doing uh, the same very light pressure, tight circular motion. And when I do these circles, I'm filling in the negative space. So I'm not just simply doing like a, a circle like, like this. I'm doing a tight circle that fills in. All right, so I'm going to continue my shading with my tight circles underneath the hair. I'll do it right here so you can see that. And then take that light shade, go over those circles, again with tight circles, but this time with the lighter color. And what that, that does is it blends that color so that shading looks really natural and it smooths it out on the face so that there aren't any grainy lines on the face like you have in the hair. Skin is nice and smooth, it's not liney. Well, at least not right now. And you wanna keep that circular motion so that it continues to smooth it out. So you will continue to add light and dark hues of your color using circular motion and blending it with the lighter shade when you're done. All right, so I'm gonna go back over this with the lighter shade. Looks great. Okay, all right. Now, if you have like, let's say cheeks or um, that you want to have a little blush on it, or let's say you have purple shadows under the eyes, which many of us do, um, you are going to wanna to use the side of your pencil, this part. You're gonna wanna use that because it's just soft and subtle and it covers a large area. So I'm just doing circular motion of a kind of a rose color and I'm just going over this 
I can press down harder if I feel like I'm not getting enough color on the paper. All right, and it's just really soft and light. And then I can still go back over it to give it depth with the skin color circular motion. Looks really nice. So the side of the pencil is really great um, for um, casting soft colors in sections, um, some larger scale shading, or just adding um, some type of uh, accent to your face or anything else. So those are the tips that we're gonna be using for creating hair, for adding uh, blending skin and clothing using the circular motion, and then using our side of the pencil for other areas that need some accents.